Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to change the backplate on an iPhone 4 or 4S. If you're going to change the backplate on an iPhone 4, you have to know if it's a GSM or a CDMA version. An easy way to tell is if you have a phone by AT&T, it's a GSM. If you have one by um, Verizon, it's a CDMA version. So, what you're going to need for this is, before you start anything here, um, you're going to want to look at the bottom screws on the bottom of your phone. If it has a plus mark, if it has a plus like that, that is the Phillips head screws. That's the older version of the iPhone 4. If you have the iPhone 4S, you're going to have this new screws that uh, Apple has, or these tamper-proof screws, or um, pentalobe screws. Or if you have a newer version of the iPhone 4, then you're going to have the pentalobe screws. So, I have the pentalobe screws on mine, right here. And so, you have to get that special screwdriver. Here it is right there. See how fine point that tip is? You can barely see it on the camera. Right there. So, you're going to need your phone, um, your Phillips head or your pentalobe screw driver. You're going to need some type, sort of box right here so you can put your screws in so you don't lose them. And I like one with a lid so I can close it. If I hit it, it won't really um, fall out. Um, next, you're going to need um, your back plate right here. And the reason why you need to know if it's a GSM or a CDMA version for your iPhone 4 is this right here. So, this is different. I have the CDMA Verizon version. So, usually there would be a piece right here if you had an AT&T one. If you have um, a iPhone 4S, um, do not select an iPhone 4 CDMA or an iPhone 4 GSM. Just look for an iPhone 4S one. So, that's just so much easier. And, um, so, before you, like, put this on, um, make sure your camera lens is clean. Just get a microfiber. Just clean the back right there. I've already cleaned it ahead of time. And I just get, like, a something. I have my black smart cover right here for the iPad. And so, just a little place to work on right here. So, bef and before we do all this... You want to turn off your device just in case anything happens. Okay, just wait for that to turn off. Okay, so now that this is off, you want to get your bottom screws, take your screwdriver, and, um, Remember, lefty loosey, righty tidy, and I'll just skip this part for you so you don't have to see it and take forever. Okay, now that I've got those screws out of the bottom, I just sealed it up in my little box. You can see how. Here, let me open this and show you. Look at that right there. How small that little screw is, and just to show you how small it is, look at the size of that on top of the back apple on there. See, we're getting a little bit of reflection, but there you go, right there. So these are tiny. You do not want to lose these. This is what's going to keep your um, the back of your phone on. Okay, now after you got those safely put away, take the bottom, put your phone, not your phone, your thumbs on the bottom of your phone, your point your fingers on the top, and just pull, push your thumbs up, just like that. And so you'll get a little gap right there. Do not keep pushing because then you might break your phone. There's the front right there. And push up there and then it will stop. And then just get from the front and then pull it up. Just like that. And there's your front. And so here's the inside of your phone. That's what makes it happen. And so don't touch that. So you don't want to mess anything up. See you got your lithium ion battery. That's actually really big. Like for all of your stuff right there. You have your camera, your flash, I think your A5 chip somewhere about right here, or your A4 chip, or whatever type you got right there. So, there's that. Don't mess with that, unless you're going to do some different operation here. Get your next back plate right here. Okay. Put this on the top, and put it close to the bottom, because if you put it too high up, then it just won't fit in. 
make sure all of the little prongs on it, those prongs right there, fit on. See how it's even right there? And then just take your fingers on the top of the phone and push it down. There you go, just like that. Now you've got that on. And um, after you got that on, you can get your screws and put those in. I'll skip this part again, just so you don't have to sit through it. Okay, and after you get these done, you don't really want to screw these in too tight in case like you want to take your back plate off and put your other one back on. <clears throat> so for further stuff on it, to redo it. So don't put them too tight. And then, now yeah, you've got your new back plate on here. And then one thing to test on here is just to turn it back on. And I always like to test the camera lens on it just to make sure that it's working fine. That, like, it's, if it doesn't line up properly, the lens doesn't line up properly with the, um, um, uh, the camera. So, I'll just turn it back on and just see what, um, if it lines up properly. Uh, if you get a good quality one, um, they will line up properly, but, um, like if you just buy a cheap one, it might not line up, or you, you didn't install it correctly. Okay, so, I got my camera up here, and then you can see, it, it looks perfect, and there's no fuzziness at the top or the bottom, which would be the back plate touching, uh, um, going over the camera, and it looks great. So, um, if you... And if this video helped you out a bunch, you can like this video. Be sure to comment if you have, if you need any help with anything. And you can subscribe to my channel for other tech videos. And I'll see you in the next video.